Hey everybody, this is Will DSA and welcome back for another video on Disney Sorcerer's Arena. Today we're continuing our team crafting segments and we're taking a look at a new team that I really enjoy. Now, many of you who have played the game and many of you who are coming up in the game will f soon find out that there is an established meta currently for Sorcerer's Tournament and the PvP structure, mostly being Frozen and Kingdom. These videos I'm going to try and make are really not for that, as they are established. If I run across something that works well, that's awesome. But for these, I'm thinking of squads mainly that can be used in Club Conquest. You know, your second stringers, your, you go through a couple nodes and you can run down on teams and things you can put together that are solid teams, and I believe that I've found one. This one is focusing on using Chunk, seen here in the middle, to work with other characters to go ahead and extend harmful debuffs on opponents and work on controlling them through that way. And we'll kind of go through the characters in a very basic form. Uh, please note that this is not a meta team. It's not going to get you to the top of Arena. It's not going to get you to the top of your uh, Sorcerer's Tournament or PvP section, but it is a good team nonetheless. So without further ado, without further ado let me introduce it. Uh, up first is Chunk, the gentleman who keeps everything going and looking strong. And his real ability here that is helpful is the second ability, which is Ground and Pound. You want to have it up to level 2. It deals some damage to opponent and adjacent opponents, but it also extends the duration of two random effects by one for each opponent. Now Chunk is a great tank. He does his switching back and forth. He can in, uh, gain taunt for a turn and inflict fear. He has turns, he gets haste um, on sharp turn, he can normal effects from him, etc, etc. A really good part of this team. So, as we go ahead and take a look more, he also does fear, um, and he can also convert the one random helpful effect into a harmful effect if it has defense up. So, a strong kit, a strong body, but it's really that extending <clears throat> amount of use of debuffs that really puts him into a different category. So I figured a good team that really doesn't have a whole big place is the Onward team. Uh, a big consideration for Onward is uh, Ian, who does a lot. Not only can he do a lot of damage with debuffs on them, um, it's 25% for each harmful effect on opponents, he can also go ahead and drain the speed of a uh, target opponent and all their allies. If Ian is, if Barley is there, it does it in, as a mass AOE, otherwise it's just Jason. Uh, his second ability uh, puts harmful effects on there, random harmful effects for two turns. Um, spread, it'll spread harmful effect from target opponent to adjacent opponents. This will not stun, uh, not spread stun, charm, sleep, polymorph, which is fine. And then increase the duration of health effects on self by one. Um, if no effects are present, it gains a uh, helpful effect for two turns. A strong ability. And then his first ability is actually one of those few basic abilities that have a great, a decent chance of spreading blind. Uh, deal 475, 65% chance to inflict blind for two turns. If Barley is an ally, does it to adjacent opponents. And then this character has 10% potency, etc., etc. Extend the duration of. Uh, random harmful effects by one with a 30% chance. So he is looking good. He goes ahead and spreads that blind and other harmful effects to other characters. Uh, Manticore is just really a strong tank. I'm not going to go over the kits. Really works well. Uh, can take up some damage and do really well. Can stun as well. Continuous damage. But this uh, Manticore is probably a replacement killer character. I honestly think uh, Lotso might be good there. Uh, I think Elsa actually might be good there as well. Uh, anything that can do uh, silence or things like that would be nice. But Barley will be next. Uh, and Barley's main thing is twofold. Um, up to two random allies can attack. Um, in the following, uh, immediately use your basic attack upon his basic. So it's like a mass attack to an extent. Uh, he gains. This character gains the following ability, increasing the magic of a random ability by 1.3% chance, or by 1, 30% chance to gain defense up. So he goes ahead and increases his man, 
yeah, blah, blah, blah. Increases his uh, uh, magic as well. Great effect of his is um, going ahead and giving that critical strike to Ian. Um, and then if target allies Ian, increase magic of all abilities by an additional one. So he really speeds up the team, can speed up Chunk, um, and really just do a good set of work. He also removes Taunt and gains Evasion. And then on the start of turn, he can go ahead and flick the defense down for two turns, which is a nice little bonus. The last part of this team is Sally. Sally has one of the better kits in the game for crowd control, and really once she start up, I think she'll be awesome. Fog Juice, it flicks blind for one turn on all opponents. On a two turn, so, uh, cooldown, and with Ian, that'll cool down really quickly. And then also it can she can inflict slow and sleep for a turn. So really, really an effective character uh, to have in this team. Obviously, mine is not that high up. That. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and double check, see if we can find a match here just to demonstrate kind of how this goes, you know, what it looks like. Um, no guarantees here as there's no good testing method, but let's go ahead and go into a battle. Let's go ahead and go into a grand campaign um, and just find a very basic. as well. I could see that being over Cauldron, but for now, I just have Cauldron. Go ahead and take a look here. Overall, I honestly think it's a strong Conquest team. It uses a lot of characters. Um, you know, if you're willing to lose Chunk from Lotso, which damages Lotso a little bit, uh, but could be good in Club Conquest. I haven't had a chance to try it out. Alright, so... See if we can get through here. See if we can get that blind put up. Okay, so we put three turns of blind on there. Let's go ahead and fog juice here and hone blind them. Uh, we're gonna wait on the speed up. We're just gonna do a basic attack here to the taunter. I'm not too worried about it. He gets hit. He guards up. All right, so let's go ahead and. Now there is no actual adjacent opponents right now, so it's just going to go ahead and affect uh, this taunting man, because technically this gentleman is not adjacent. Uh, but we increase the blind. No reason to really do that right now. Uh, we get a what am I going to say? We get a harmful immunity put up, so that's awesome. Let's go ahead and increase those as well. So we're increasing things slowly. No reason to use um. Deadly Nightshade because it's not going to do anything, so we'll just do our basic. Hit him. Alright, so here we go. Let's go ahead and come over here. We get that assist going. Looks nice. This will probably uh, max things out, kill some stuff. Alright, sweet. Alright, so important thing when he has haste, if he has haste, it is. Uh, but he gives a, a attack down. So, we have an attack down there. Uh, he's blinded, so let's go ahead and get a taunt. And we to cover the taunt for where Chunk doesn't have one. Hey, hit some more blind. With basic. And as you see, we stack up continuous damage is also an effect. We're going to wait on his main ability before the damage is Alright, so we do have some adjacent comments here. There's no taunt yet. I'm going to go ahead and just do a basic. See how that goes. No, is there any reason to stun? We can stun. Let's go ahead and stun here. Just uh Oh, he resisted the stun. Look at that. No worries. So there's a taunt going on. We do get the blind going. Okay. Now here's something we can do. 
Um, he has two turns of blind, so we know he's going to last longer. So we're going to fog juice here. Boom. Everyone's got blind. Cool. Now, adjacent opponents. It should, if I do the middle, it should hit him in the front and in the back as well. So let's go ahead and do it. Boom. Look at that. Increasing that. Now, we've increased it. Let's go ahead and increase the magic abilities. We're going to give Ian a pump up here. I think it's uh, inflect, spread the harmful effect. All right, so plenty of harmful effects. Boom. Spreads it to an adjacent opponent. So the back. This gentleman now has five turns of blind, which doesn't automatically guarantee it's going to do anything, but can really have a large effect on the match. We have taunt up, so we can go ahead and this says if it has a taunt, if it has defense up, which it does. 65% chance to convert a random helpful effect into a harmful one. So, we can go ahead and hit here, see if it does it. We didn't get it quite that way, which is fine. Another useful thing, that's blinded, so let's go ahead and put a sleep on this gentleman. They're gonna sleep, no worry about a taunt. Do some basics, hit them. And as you can see, it's a really effective way. Look what the debuffs we have. Uh, not all of my guys are level up, so it really is not a fair comparison all the time, uh, but it works. Taunt up there. Save that for the next round, because we should have plenty of adjacent opponents as well. We should be able to clear this amount. As you can see, these taunts, um, the taunts the blinds, but all this will build up. And this game is doing a really good job of introducing characters with interaction that we don't have to see. Or, or we don't always have to have the same team with. New things. It's beautiful to see. Alright, so we have Sorcerer's Mickey. We don't have a full uh, adjacent team, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and hit Mickey with that attack. Boom. We got some slow on it. Slow is a good thing to spread around. Take some hits. Go ahead and put some healing up now. This means Sally cannot die because of the hammer's undefeatable, which is awesome, at least until the first time. Um, who's coming up first? Is that a piggy? I think I don't know. that guy's coming up first. Boom. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, spread that or increase that slow. Let's fog juice it up. Boom. All right. Everyone's good. Let's go ahead and increase this up on the end of the strike. This should be a decent hit. Boom. Clears him out. Again, obviously not leveled up. Not perfect. So, uh, we can see how that goes in the future. Take some hits. And from here on out, it's pretty obvious. But in this video, you should be able to see what you can do, how you can do it, um, and all the effects that can be switched around, bounced around, etc. A very powerful team. Go ahead and try it out if you like it. I, I think you will. It utilizes a lot of characters not normally seen in the normal amount of teams. And that's really all I have to say. No, this is not a meta team. It is not meant to take you to the top of the rankings. But it is a worthwhile team. And especially if you level it up, it can do good. So this is Will DSA. We'll be signing off here after we win off this battle. Uh, we're going to be back for another video very soon. Thank you for joining me and all the support you've got for me and this community. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment on what you think about the team. With that being said, take care and have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.